this new create mod update is awesome. As a matter of fact, I've already spent hours messing around with it and look forward to spending many more. Check these things out. These are called display boards and they'll display information for you. They need rotational force to power them. So I'm robbing it from my stoneworks plant and pulling it up front here. And we're going to show you how these deals work. Take this display link, right click on the display, take it to what you want it to read out. Boom. I'm putting it on this depot. It has cobblestone on there. I'm doing this for a reason. We're going to hit. This is going to be line one. So if we go back to the display board, boom, it shows cobblestone. Cool. Now, if I take a content observer, I'm going to display the amount of cobblestone in this item vault on that display board. So I need another display link, right click the display, attach it to this content observer, right click on here, amount of items. We're going to put this at line two. So scroll down, hit the check mark. Boom. We now know we got 69,000 cobblestone. And it also gives you a live readout of whatever it is that you're keeping track of in your inventory. So if I order a storage drive that takes a metric ton of nether quartz and click go, that just dropped because it's now processing the nether quartz and the sand is dropping because it's making more nether quartz to fill that void. You can display anything. I want to play with trains, but before we do that, we need to set up some new automations for these new parts and pieces that were added by create. They changed how you make casings. You can do them by hand or you can automate them. We're going to automate them because I don't want to stand here and have to do this. We need a way to create power over here to set up these automations. So we're going to use the new steam boiler, put down four blaze burners, take some fluid tanks, Go four high with this layer. Steam engines, put four of these guys on there. And then he takes some shafts. And we're gonna put shafts, just right click them right onto this deal. Now notice how all these are aligned. It gives you a ghost image, which is kind of goofy to work out at some points, as you can tell. <laughs> boom and boom. Now we have the basics of the steam boiler. We need to add water to it. To run some pipes up from the ocean just like that you can do three water source blocks that works as well connect a pump to the fluid tank and then connect these fluid pipes to the pump now i'm going to up the speed of that pump we're going to come off of this shaft right here big cog little cog put a big cog on there little cog up there and one last one Right here now we need to jump start this boiler to get it operating I'm gonna take a bucket of water another mechanical pump go up top here item drain put the bucket of water in there take a cogwheel and a hand crank cogwheel down hand crank on top and if we rotate this the right way it'll work pump the water into the boiler Hear the thing tweaking. It's now pulling water out of the ocean into the boiler and that thing's cranking. But if I put these goggles on, it makes 2,048 stress units right now. We're going to bump that up. We're going to do that using a mechanical arm. We're going to feed these guys coal from this depot. So if we look at the depot with the arm in our hand, right click on there. It says take items from the depot. Boom. It's going to deposit them. Right click on these burners and then we'll put this guy down right here. It's not going to do anything right now because it doesn't have rotational force hooked up to it. But we'll take an exporter, pop it on the bottom of that depot that we put up top there. We're going to tell it's going to export coal. We'll put some speed upgrades in here. Hook this pipe up. Boom. It's now cabled into the refined storage system. 
and that should be putting coal top of the depot it is now i just need to power this guy and he'll start cranking that thing up now i want to tie these two shafts together because whatever's coming out of here i want to put on the same line coming out of here same shaft so i got two vertical gearboxes there and then coming off with a shaft another vertical gearbox and then i'm going to bring it down under the deck here and then we can run all our shafts underneath in the ocean i'm going to bring it up right here to power this guy first now these things don't matter what direction you spin them in unlike most things in create so we just hook that up that should be feeding it cold now and it should crank up if i can get up here Go again take the mechanical arm right click on the depot take items from the depot you're gonna put them into these blaze burners boom pop that down mechanical arm has one input or outputs I need to up the speed of this I just want to make sure that this works if we put our goggles back on we can now see that it's increasing the speed of the output of this boiler and you can hear it and now the arm moves way faster and I don't need to worry about increasing the speed of the arm this thing's just going to keep feeding it coal and it's going to keep cranking let's talk about how you make casings there's four different styles in create now of casings specifically the one I'm really after is this train casing because we need these to make train parts but we need brass casings to make the train casings and you need andesite casings to make pretty much anything in create so and i'm going to make copper casings because i've been building with them and they changed the recipe up but all three of these the copper the andesite and the brass casing all start with a stripped log so we're going to use create to do that i'm going to automate it this is a mechanical saw if i feed it an oak log it'll come out stripped perfect but we don't want it to do that we want to automate this so i'm going to use a crafter i'm going to put a crafter underneath here i need a wrench i'm going to spin this deal so it faces correctly now it's facing up and i'm going to put a chute on this side that's going to be where we're exporting it so we'll input through the crafter now if you're if you don't have refined storage or anything you could just put a chest here and a funnel and then put your logs in there another chest over here and a funnel and that'll grab everything for you but i want to automate this we're going to make a pattern to put in the crafter i'm going to click on processing and we're going to put one oak log in here i'm going to tell it it makes one stripped log pull the pattern out now if i take the pattern toss it into crafter and then hook this deal up to the refined storage we're going to have it export through this chute so i need an importer on this side pull out of the chute tie these in to the refined storage boom and the last thing we got to do is put a strip log in this recipe filter here now if we come over here and click craft strip logs let's make 64 hit go it should be cranking them out it's sending them right into the refined storage system we need these and now let's automate the casings for the casings we need four different depots and underneath three of these we're going to put exporters on the bottom of them to tie them into the refined storage system we're going to tell this exporter it's going to import strip logs we're going to give it a crafting upgrade three speed upgrades we're going to do that for each of these what this crafting upgrade is going to do is it's going to tell the refined storage system when it runs out of stripped oak logs that we already made 64 of it'll activate this to produce more to keep this always loaded you don't have to worry about logs sitting on here they're not an entity and it won't lag out your world now we'll take some crafters put them on top of each one of these spin them so they're facing down tie them into 
the refined storage system. Now we need to make up three different recipes. We're going to do the andesite one first. So we're going to say one andesite alloy equals one casing. Pull the recipe out. One copper equals one copper casing. One brass equals one brass casing. All these are processes, so you make sure that this is clicked. Pull these three recipes out. Put the andesite one in here. We're gonna go copper in here, brass in here. We need a way to export what this is gonna craft off that depot into, back into our refined storage system. So I'm gonna put down four chutes there. And on the depot, we're gonna mount four brass funnels. They're all facing the wrong way right now because I don't want it to pull off the strip logs. So we're gonna go andesite, copper brass andesite is this one this one's copper this one's brass and i can now spin these the right way using a wrench so when this makes an andesite casing that funnel will pull it out boom drop it into the chute and we need importers on the bottom just like we did the rest tie it into the refined storage system now if i order 64 andesite casing and 64 brass casings this should start cranking them out It's not going to do anything because I didn't power it yet. I was baffled there. And give these deals some rotation. It should start banging them out. There we go. She's working perfect. Now the last thing we got to get into now is the most important one, the train casing. But this requires something different, a sturdy sheet. We need lava. I have a setup for that. I'll show you. And we need powdered obsidian. To make the powdered obsidian, we need crushing wheels. This is the recipe that goes into mechanical crafters. You can have these set up in any order. As long as you power it with a redstone signal, it'll craft and make the crushing wheels. The other thing that we need to make the sturdy sheets for the train casings is a decent supply of lava. So in the nether, I have a hose pulley, which is powered to go down to an over 10,000 source block of lava pool. That is considered an infinite source we create, and I'm pumping it into a dimensional tank that we're gonna to use to feed the spout for the next process. If you've never used crushing wheels before with create, you need to power them spinning in towards each other. Now you can put them down on the ground like that, or you can have them vertical like that. I'm putting these two vertical for this application. That one's gonna spin in, this one's also spinning into itself. So now if I throw a piece of obsidian in there, I should crush it. I guess that falls through the grate. <laughs> and we get a piece of powdered obsidian. Now I'm gonna automate this the same way. I'm gonna put a crafter up here spin that deal, make a recipe up that says one piece of obsidian equals one piece of crushed obsidian and collect it through the bottom here with a chute. Put an importer on the chute, send it back into the refined storage system. But I won't bore you with that part. Oh, I'm sorry. It's called powdered obsidian. Do you work? Moving on to the sturdy sheet. We need the spout, two mechanical presses. So I got a belt here. We're gonna put the spout on top of there. And I'm gonna take a fluid pipe, take a dimensional tank from my nether realm with the lava gen. I'm gonna import it into there and I'm gonna put a netherite deal in here. So it's never waiting on that to fill this up. And two presses. We just got to power these presses. Come out of here. Go up one. I need another one. Deals.
These are called encased chain drives. So put that on there and that on there. Spin that deal. That's going to power both of them. Now, if I throw powdered obsidian on here, should get a sturdy sheet at the end. It's going to fall through my dock, though. Let's go. We got the sturdy sheet. Now that we know it works, we can automate this the same way. Put a crafter here, spin this deal so it's facing up like that. I'll put a chute down on this end to collect what comes out of here. Tie that into the refined storage system, same way. And one more pattern that says one powdered obsidian equals one sturdy sheet. Make it a process. Just a pattern in the crafter. Speed. And we should be able to order sturdy sheets. Go with 64. Go. Sweet. Now we can set up the train deals. Underneath our last depot in the casing process line, I'm putting in an exporter tied into the refined storage, telling it it's going to need brass casings. I put a crafting card in here with three speed upgrades. It's now making brass casings and it should be putting them on the depot. Perfect. So now, if I take this sturdy sheet, pop it in the hand of this deployer, we get our first train casing that in the filter. Now, if I take a sturdy sheet, pop it on this side here, tell it it's making a train casing, take the pattern out, pop the pattern into this crafter, some speed upgrades. Should now be able to order some train casings. Do 10 work. No, because I don't have this flipped the right way. Spin this guy, export, boom, you're crafting train casings. We got one last project before this video ends and we're gonna make train tracks. All right, if you're still with me and you made it this far, the train tracks are the simplest part. You need two deployers and a mechanical press. The deployers are gonna need iron nuggets. So I have exporters on here. My refined storage system knows how to craft iron nuggets. So I'm going to export iron nuggets into both of these. And the last thing you need is a stone slab. Toss that on there. Boom, boom, and boom. Our first train track that went into the chute and it's now in the refined storage system. So now I need to make one last pattern. One stone slab equals one train track. Create the pattern, pattern in this crafter here. Now we should be able to order train tracks. Let's do 64. Do you work? Oh, certainly do. How do these things look? Pretty darn cool, and I can't wait to play with them. Folks, that's going to be the end of this video, and in the next one, I think you can guess on what we're going to be doing. Thanks for checking the video out, y'all. Have fun, and peace!